here I want to talk about the importance of education, but first what I want to do is talk about the fact that I am tired of white liberals trying to use my community for their scapegoat on their agenda when their policies have never been good for us. So while you sit up here and got something to say about her, I dare you to come here and talk to me about what the government has done for my people. Okay, you gotta confuse, right? Because I know what it's like to live in government housing. I know what it's like to have government education, and I know that it's not been good, and I know that the best thing for our community has been a focus on education where we're not taught to be victims, we're taught that we can rise above it with the opportunities we have, and as a Christian, the blood of Jesus Christ, okay? So let's kind of let's start that out. This idea that we need to get away from brass tacks in education is something that's going to hurt all of us. We want kids woke before we, we get them literate. We want them woke before we get them competent in math and sciences. And that's not what the way to go and that's not what I stand for. That's not what we stand for. We're not against tolerance. We're not against fairness. We're for first things first. I'm a part of education first because first things need to be first in this country. And apparently we are losing control of what needs to come first. BS needs to walk all across the board here in this country. So I'm gonna start out by saying this. I want you all to get more involved in what's going on in your children's schools. Start pushing back that, you know what, you want all of this exploratory stuff happen, happening. First, let's make sure that they're reading on grade level. I am a conservative. I am a Christian, but let me tell you what makes me conservative. is because you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. If you've got a problem with police, you throw out the bathwater. If you've got a problem with racism, you throw out the bathwater. You don't throw out the people. So teaching hate in our schools has never been the answer to racism. It's never been the answer to good policy. Because I'm going to tell you this, as long as it continues to be a sin issue, it will continue to be a skin issue. And you know why that is? It's because right now, even in Africa, right now, all across the world, slavery is coming back. And in America, we're seeing it as human trafficking. So the answer, is, and I will say this, racism will always be an equal opportunity employer of the ignorant, the unloving, and those that use as a scapegoat the lack of desire for achievement. So, so right now, I want to say this. We gotta look at a couple of things going on here. If you guys are familiar with H1B visas, right? This is the, this is the, the true slap, slap in our face to our education system where some of the top companies, and we're talking about the top 20 tech companies continually bringing in foreign outside talent because they want to disguise it as diversity but what they're really saying is we do not trust the education of who we have here to employ so they sit up there and 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 apply for a lottery of 85,000 college educated people to come in from all around the world when I've been in classes with students alongside of me spending fifty thousand sixty thousand dollars to get a degree maybe that's why the liberals want free education because they know that our education is not good enough to be hired. So they might feel guilty and decide that maybe you should need to stop paying for it. This year, this year, now the, the pre President Biden mm, has decided that re President Biden has decided that where Trump came in and put a, a ban on the H-1B visas, that that is not necessary. So once again, you're gonna have top tech companies, some companies, do the research on this, bringing in 20,000 foreign educated people to work in this nation, and we're sitting up there trying to preach that math is racist, and math is this, 
And math is that. And I'm going to tell you something, right? Because we got to start calling this stuff out on the table. They sit up there and they say that, oh, black people have the, the worst interactions with police. They're constantly picked on. They're constantly this. Well, when you start teaching, there's a Brooklyn College, you guys might know this, there's a Brooklyn College professor that taught that two plus two equals four is patriar patriarchal systemic racism. Tell that to the cashier working that two plus two does not equal four. The police is going to say, when you think two plus two equals five, that's stealing. Okay? They're not going to be able to keep the jobs. They're not going to be able to live lives that are... That, that have the ability to kind of really bring us up and make us mobile. So we've got to get to brass tacks. This idea that math isn't pure is ridiculous because guess what? We've got Google, we've got all of these companies paying top dollar to bring in other people who know that two plus two equals four and two plus two will always equal four. And when it comes to this anti kind of patriarchal and all of this kind of stuff, I'm going to tell you this because I've seen it personally in my community. There is nothing like the presence of a black man, a Latino man, or any man that humbles himself before God, loves his family, loves his wife, and says, I'm here for you, and I'm here to do the raising, okay? Because what this has been going on in education is also becoming an attack, an attack on the family. As a conservative, what those guys over there don't realize, that I am fighting for the messages in your homes, I'm fighting for the messages of how you want to raise your family, even though it might be different from what I grew up with. But you know who needs to take care of that? Parents and family. So stop education, public schools, trying to take the place of the family, trying to take the place of fathers, trying to sit up there and break children when you raise them and they live in your houses one way and then they go to school and they're taught by parent, taught by teachers that what your parents say is wrong. It's causing students and your children to have a double life that is not healthy. So they're coming out confused and they're coming out dumber than if you kept them home. So I am here in support of education, education only education first do the job we sent them we sent our children to you for in the first place which is teach them the things they need to get a job teach them the things they need to earn a living and take care of their family and all of the other stuff leave it to the parents that are capable of doing this in their own home thank you